Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned in Bang Showbiz News. Steve Albini born July 22, 1962. Steve passed away on Tuesday, May 7, 2024 at age 61. He passed away at his home in Chicago. Staff at the studio, Electrical Audio, have confirmed to Pitchfork that Albini had passed away. The acclaimed musician, who held some of the most revered albums across America's alternative music scene, has passed away after suffering a heart attack at his recording studio. Steve was an American musician, record producer, audio engineer, and music journalist. He was the founder, owner and principal engineer at Electrical Audio, a recording studio complex in Chicago. It has been estimated that he worked on several thousand albums over his career. He worked with acts such as Nirvana, Pixies, Bush, The Breeders, PJ Harvey, The Jesus Lizard, and former Led Zeppelin members Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. He also played in various bands, most notably Big Black and Shellac. Albini was critical of the music industry, arguing that it exploited and stylistically homogenized artists. As a part of his opposition he refused to take royalties from artists he worked with, arguing that it was unethical. Albini was born in Pasadena, California, to Gina and Frank Addison Albini. On his birth certificate, the middle name section says, none, as his father refused to leave it blank. His father was a wildfire researcher. He had two siblings. In his youth, Albini's family moved often, before settling in the college town of Missoula, Montana, in 1974. Albini was Italian-American, and some of his family are from the Piedmont region of northern Italy. The late musician fronted bands such as Big Black, Rape Man and Shellac, while he also produced albums for the likes of Nirvana, Pixies, PJ Harvey, and Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. Albini was heavily influenced by the punk movement during his younger years, and he ultimately founded his own music project called Big Black, firstly as a solo effort before it eventually became a quartet. The group released their debut album, Atomizer in 1986, and they're now recognized as one of the most influential punk groups of the era. Despite this, the group split and in 1987, Albini formed a new band called Rape Man. Albini then formed Shellac in 1992 alongside drummer Todd Trainer and bassist Bob Weston. Together, they released five albums and the group are actually scheduled to release their latest record, To All Trains, next week. In 1995, Albini established his own recording studio and he worked with several high-profile acts, including Joanna Newsom, Lowe, the John Spencer Blues Explosion, Manic Street Preachers, and Jarvis Cocker. Away from the music scene, Albini also enjoyed huge success as a poker player, winning two bracelets at World Series of Poker Tournaments, as well as hundreds of thousands of dollars in prize money. Albini is survived by his wife, movie maker Heather Winna. Albini was a guest on the audio podcast WTF with Mark Marin in 2015. The 2019 short documentary Albini cashes in, part of the stories from the felt series for the streaming service Poker Geo, is about Albini's 2018 World Series of Poker when Albini began a cooking and food blog, titled Mario Battle of Voice, What I Made Heather for Dinner, in March 2011. Albini was an avid poker player and ranked in 12th place at the 2013 World Series of Poker, WSOP, Seniors Championship. Albini won his first WSOP gold bracelet at the $1,500 seven-card stud at 2018 World Series of Poker, WSOP. He beat out Jeff Lissandro to win $105,629. He won his second gold bracelet at the 2022 WSOP in the $1,500 HORSE event. Albini regularly engaged in public speaking appointments for the audio industry. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App, Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.